What works, I think, best is when you blend horror and social commentary, as I've sort of been examining as we go through. Obviously, The Handmaid's Tale and Margaret Atwood also falls into that world, looking at a future that is horrific for one particular gender, which happens to be chicks, right? This is not a great world to grow up in. And she just, some 25 years later, came up with the sequel, Testaments, which is different from the television show. The TV show stopped, the first season stopped at the end of the book. And then the people on the show had to create the rest of that. She's like, uh, no, 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 this is where I thought the story was going. So as an author, she has the power to say, no, this is where I wanted those characters to be, not whatever you guys are doing on a weekly basis. So I think it's really interesting to compare that to the later seasons of the show. Um, I love um, her early picture and then her current while the CBS, uh, while the Emmys are going on. So Margaret's been writing for a long time. She had a very long, illustrious career writing. Horror. 